Hello, knock knock. Hi, Chow. Chow. How are you? I'm great. How it's are you? It's good to see you. It's good to see you again. I'm so excited to be in your studio. Yay. Well, thanks. Thank you. Yay. Let's talk. Oh, I like the orange. This is my favorite oh, color. Oh, that's an awesome orange. This is an awesome orange, and as you can see, the lid is quite wide and open, and one day I dropped it, and uh -huh. it hit the ground. Oh, the no. You can see it over there on the floor, and all on the wall underneath there. It, it was like slow motion because it's my favorite color. And then it was all over the wall, and I thought, if I get a wet paper towel and rub that... Oh, it will be worse. It will be worse. I just need to let it dry that's as right. a splatter. So that's what it is. It's the a desk. splatter. So I'm talking with Elizabeth St. Hilaire and talking about, I mean, we're here in her studio. This is, I could spend the whole day here. I do. Just, I know you do. <laughs> I know you do. I do. But I could just be digging through drawers and looking at paper paintings. I mean, it's really, this is an inspiring place to be. It really is. It, it really is. And, um, and it, you know, if you want to dig through drawers, I need to tidy up. So. Oh, well, well, you know, you can probably hire me for that yeah so you know I'm talking to you about what you're doing obviously what you're working on your art but also I wanted to mention a few things in this video about you coming to Italy yes because oh, yes. you did this retreat in Italy last year it was amazing we had a great group and a great time we had great um a great class, but uh, being in Italy, we also had wonderful excursions, half a day trips, and it's a uh, was a wonderful combination of art and travel. Yeah, it was, wasn't it? Yeah, art and travel and, and food. Oh, and food. Let us not forget <laughs> to mention <laughs> and food. the food. The food is amazing. Yes. But um, I wanted to ask you a question too, because there may be some people watching this video who aren't familiar with your process right. and why it is so unique and why they must come they must and come work with you and, and pray with, with you and pray with you in Italy. How long have you been doing this particular um, type, if I can use that word, of collage? I've been doing this uh, process for about 10 years and it has evolved and changed over those 10 years. It is certainly based on what I started with, but it's very different. In mm. the beginning I did not hand paint my own papers, I framed under glass. I had a lot of paint incorporated with the collage, um, so it sort of evolved uh, as a process and as I got more proficient with it, more creative with it, um, I started hand painting my own papers because the papers that I was purchasing were fading. Mm. And at first I thought that that was a terrible dilemma and what was I going to do that this paper was fading, but actually it ended up being the best thing that ever happened to me because the papers that I create, that I hand paint, are far more beautiful than anything I ever bought. Yeah, that's true. Right? So now what I'm working with is truly a palette of beautiful paper, uh, way more than what I was what I was purchasing. So that, that dilemma ended up being the push that I needed for my work to really get that much better. So I share in my class um, those techniques, and there are a lot of different techniques for making uh, paper that is uh, beautiful and painterly and um, just all the shades that you need from dark all the way to light, thick and thin paper, paper on a roll, old book pages, maps, you name it, letters, personal ephemera. I mean, we use all kinds of stuff. But you know what I love about the Italy retreat, Elizabeth, and your classes there? It's so comprehensive. I mean, you're teaching everything about virtually about your process right absolutely we have six days of class time six half days mm -hmm. um, so it's a uh, it's it's the most comprehensive uh, class that I teach that is so cool and we start uh, with sketching um, we start with sketching and drawing we go through the underpainting process uh, we spend a lot of time on hand painting paper so we spend a lot of time and learning a lot of techniques for creating your own hand-painted collage papers. Mm -hmm. And then once everyone has a mountain of paper, <laughs> then we talk about ripping and gluing and shapes and direction and form and how to get rid of white edges and how to overlap and uh, layer and shade, subtle shading from light all the way down to super dark. So we cover all of that, uh, all the while eating uh, yeah. pasta that was made that morning, one day by us, Yes, one yes, day by indeed. us, and right. um, taking some wonderful side trips, and uh, Orvieto to the paper artisan studio was especially wonderful because we got to uh, hand paint paper in that traditional Italian technique. Amazing. That was so uh, appropriate 
And then he talked about paper and showed us old books and very, very appropriate. And then I guess this trip we're going to go to the copper artist. Yeah, yeah. hand hammered a copper. Well, you saw. I met did. Him. I met it him. It is an art. It, it was a beautiful. An and his studio space with all the tools that have been in his family for hundreds of years. Really that's amazing. just amazing. But yeah, we have we have a great time. Uh, but we uh, but the students learn a lot. They learn a lot. They come away with a, a lot of uh, knowledge, and. Um, I do have books and I have DVDs and I have an online class, but I really still feel like there's nothing like the hands-on of actually doing it with me there to come over to you and I spend a lot of one-on-one -on -one time with every person and I come to you and I help you with your piece and your solution in that area right there and I make suggestions and um, guide, give guidance and, and, and that one-on-one -on -one time with me working with you and your pieces, um, that's invaluable over any other uh, way of learning. And Some people can't you know, can't do it in person, but if you can, oh, and if you can do yeah. it in Italy. Yeah, and if you can do uh, it in Italy. You know, I mean, because oh, I teach all yeah. over the place, but I, I teach in, in you know, uh, many states, and yes, there are many yes. cities in many states that I would say, <laughs> well, we could go here, or we could go to Italy. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> so, uh, I understand it just, that. It just takes the uh, experience of the class up to a whole, a whole other level. It's really uh, a whole package that lends itself to creativity and enjoying Italy at the at the fullest. So if you have uh, questions or you want to know more, right, Absolutely. about the retreat, go to the web page that you see on this video. You'll see the, the web address so you can check out more details about the retreat. But I hope that you'll contact me or you, right, Absolutely. with questions, if you have questions about coming. But I got to tell you, you will not regret the decision to absolutely come not Isn't absolutely that not no and it, and if and we'll have a, a, a specific itinerary schedule so uh, if people want to see exactly how the class will progress and right. how the how the trip will progress that information will all be available because i know that's that's something people really want to know absolutely so we'll have that all mapped out yep, um, for sure and beyond all that it's going to be this time your retreat will be taking place in june, june. so i mean whether it's the hay bales or the poppy fields or the oh. sunflowers or all of those things. I mean, surrounded by all of that. Oh, I, I, don't, I don't think nature. I heard about poppy fields. Oh, yeah. Poppy fields. Ah. And poppy sunflowers. Fields, poppy fields, sunflowers, wow. what can you say? I, yeah, good food and all of that. Fantastic. So listen, thanks Elizabeth Absolutely. for your time. And we're going to take a little bit of a look now at what you're doing, what you're working okay. on today, if that's okay. Yeah, okay. absolutely. I love and to hope to that. see you in Italy. Hope to see you in Italy. Uh -huh.